hello guys this is Pawan from Ambitotronics so today in this video tutorial we will learn how we can uh, see the alternate of uh, millis uh, used in Arduino IDE so here we will learn how we can get the result in microseconds from the uh, from the start um, means uh, from where the program starts till that time millis will get the result of my value in microseconds so same way here one uh, timer is there which will run in this uh, case uh, which will result which will give you the value uh, in microseconds from the start of the program so here you don't need to initialize any timer so what will you do we will just uh, first create the project file and a specified here project and we will give, give it a name millis in ESP IDF so here next and then finish so here uh, this is a template project we get now in this case we will just write something so here we will give write printf percentage l ld because that is long long int so percentage l ld and then esp id esp timer get time so this is the thing we will write and we'll comment out this thing we, we need to initialize uh, we need to include two libraries as well so hash include a free rtos slash frwe rtos dot h and in same way hash include free rtos slash timers for timer dot h okay so we will just build this thing now so here we go so it will take a while for in a uh, while building first time so we'll just pause the video for a while and we'll just come uh, here uh, uh, and uh, we'll dump this code to our ESP32 and we'll see the timer value which is in microseconds so here it started now we'll just pause the video for a while okay so it's just getting uh, uh, completed uh, the compilation process process you can see here is C plus indexer is 38 percent so when it will just complete 100 percent so these errors will be removed so uh, uh, we will just after that we will just uh, uh, dump this code uh, to our expressive uh, ESP32 WROM development kit so let it complete okay so 96% now we will just go here and and click the build button uh, this is for burning this program to our uh, ESP32 development kit ok so here you can see now all the errors are system processing so some background process is running So here you can see now all, all the errors are removed. Now we'll just upload this code to our specific kit. So it's connected. COM4. Let me just press boot button. And here you go. Now we'll just go to this serial monitor and let's see. What is the value of timer get time? Oh, we are not getting time. 
okay uh, we need to uh, put a slash and mark here so that it will just give the value in that in the next line so again we need to upload this code so just close the terminal and uh, uh, here it's uploading now we will just again open the serial monitor and value what is the value of yes but 32 uh, 1553 we are getting this value in microseconds it's, it's a, if, we, if we will calculate this value in milliseconds so it will be 32.553 milliseconds <laughs> So before that if I want to just put any statement so that it will increase the value so what I'll do I'll just uh, uh, put this hello from app main and now if I'll just upload open the serial monitor it's already open so here you can see now hello from app main and then values increased by uh, some of uh, the numerate numericals like 34,210 last time it was 33,553 so uh, we got uh, near about one millisecond value uh, we in, we got more uh, in this case so i i hope i hope uh, you understand uh, i assume uh, you understood this video if you have any doubt regarding this tutorial just feel free to comment us below so uh, or and hit the like button if you, you are just uh, you are really getting something from this these tutorials and uh, kindly subscribe my channel thank you guys thank you very much